Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A and I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some of your questions. I said ask me anything, it could be beauty related, non-beauty related, anything random. So I collected some of my favourite questions to answer in today's video. Just quickly, a couple of disclaimers. I know that this setting is really weird, don't worry I probably won't do it again. Just trying out something new and it's probably a good thing that I'm not that close because my eyebrows are in such a state at the moment. So let me know what you think but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go back to being a bit closer, I feel a bit far away. Also this lipstick which is Stila Liquid Lipstick in Patina, I just think it looks a bit weird on me, so if my face looks a bit strange, I think it's because the colour of this lipstick doesn't quite suit me. But, apart from those two things, I'm ready to film this Q&A video. I've printed out all of your questions here, and I'm just gonna get into it. Radders asks, chunky chips or skinny fries? Definitely skinny fries. Harry asks, favourite place you've ever been, also where is the next place you want to visit? So, my favourite country that I've ever been to is probably Thailand. And the next place I really want to go is South Africa. I've never been, I've always wanted to go. Me and Rich are maybe looking into doing that for our honeymoon, we're not really sure yet, but it's definitely on my list of places to visit. Indy and Millie ask, have you ever had braces? Yes, I think I pretty much had every brace that exists. When I was 14, I got braces. I had a retainer, I had elastics, I had headgear, train tracks, and I had them for four years. I didn't wear my retainer properly, so my teeth kind of got messed up again, so if you are a teenager, I really recommend wearing your retainer. So then, a couple of years ago, I also got clear guide braces, which are like the clear ones that you um, put in, you can't really see them, they're like a retainer. And they really straightened up my teeth. My bottom teeth were so, so wonky. And now they're pretty much straight. I'm so happy with them. I used to have the worst teeth when I was younger. I've finished the course of braces now. So my dentist fixed a brace to the inside of my bottom teeth so that they don't move back. And then I wear my top one at night still. A lot of people ask me how much those cost. It really depends on what you need. So I would say just go and find your nearest dentist that offers those kind of braces and they'll kind of price it up for you. Melanie asks, what can you say in French? Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Lily, j'habite en Angleterre, je voudrais un pain au chocolat pour le petit déjeuner, s'il vous plaît. Pretty basic. I should speak better French considering how long I've been going there for. My favourite French word is definitely grapefruit, which is pompon mousse. Charlotte asks, what do you think you'd be doing in your life if you never got into YouTube? I get this question a lot and I think I'd be doing exactly the same thing, but instead of running the social media and marketing for my own brand, I would be doing it for another brand. So I'd be working for a company and running their social media channels, coming up with marketing campaigns and new ideas of how to promote the company. It's pretty much the same thing, I just do it for myself in a weird kind of way. Marketing's always been what I've been good at, I'm definitely an ideas person, and I love the digital world and social media. By the way, no one asked if I'm the big spoon or the little spoon. I am definitely the big spoon and proud. Girls can be big spoons too. Kayla asks, how's the wedding planning going? It's going good, I think. We've got a lot of the big things sorted, like venue, caterer, dress. We're being quite organized because I always like to be ahead with these kind of things. But now it's just kind of sorting out the little details, which are the really nice part of a wedding, I think. We're trying to make it very casual and personal. But I have to say, I personally don't find wedding planning as glamorous and exciting as people make it out to be. I think it's quite stressful when you have to do it alongside a job. If you've always known what sort of wedding you want, then I guess it's different because you maybe have like a scrapbook of ideas, but I'm just not that kind of girl. And I found myself having to make these like big decisions on things that I'm not sure I really have a strong opinion about. So that's been quite hard and I'm really looking forward to the actual wedding, but not loving the planning so much. Emily asks, what's your favorite season? Probably either spring or autumn maybe autumn because I don't really like extremes so I don't like being really hot and I don't like being really cold. Autumn in London is beautiful. Robin asks, how do you manage your spending finances? I get so drawn into buying things and run out of money so quickly. I've always been a saver. Ever since my first job when I was about 15 or 16, I love the idea of saving my money, whether I'm saving up for something or just having it aside in case of emergencies. I don't know where I got that from but it's always been something I've been quite strict on myself with. So I would just suggest opening up like an e-savings account with your bank and every month when you get paid or every week, whenever, just put a little bit aside. And even if it's just like 10 pounds a month, at least that's something. And then you can eventually gradually build on it when you can afford to. I think having savings is so important. You can always reach into it if you need to. 
but it's really good to have that there. It's important just to keep an eye on your finances, get online banking, check it every Friday and just keep on top of things. Melanie asks, what job did you want to do when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer and a pop star. I still love singing, but I think there's a big difference between being able to sing and tune and being a great singer. And a lot of people in my family work in the music industry, so I was never naive about the fact that, yeah, I could sing, but I didn't ever have a unique, special tone to my voice that was gonna make me successful in such a difficult industry. So that dream very quickly got pushed aside. I'm a realist, so I didn't wanna chase something that probably would never happen. God, that sounds really depressing. But there's always karaoke. I do love karaoke. Kesha asks, do you see your channel evolving, either with content or spinning off a book or business? I sense a change and I'm excited. I think my channel's always evolving and I think it always has since I began. If you've been with me since the beginning, I think you'll see this massive change now to when I started. I think the beauty of having a YouTube channel is as I grow, my channel will grow with me. And the content's always changing depending on what I'm interested in. I'm sure you guys have noticed at the moment there's not so much beauty stuff because I'm just a bit more interested in lifestyle and food and home interior. And I've never really committed to one category because of that. It's a Lily Pebbles channel, it's an extension of my personality and whatever I'm into at the time, I'll make content about it. And I really appreciate you guys for letting me do that and just allowing me to make videos about what I wanna make. I definitely think it will change as I grow up. As for projects and books and things like that, there's nothing major on the cards at the moment. I really don't wanna rush into anything big like that unless it's perfect. I am a perfectionist, so who knows, if something comes up that fits, I'm up for something new and exciting, but at the moment I just wanna work on making my content as good as it can be and enjoying what I do. Becky asks, what's the color scheme for your wedding? We're not really having the kind of wedding that would have a color scheme. As I said, it's gonna be very relaxed and personal. Although I do want it to look aesthetically pleasing, obviously. I don't think there is a color scheme. I think it's gonna be very kind of neutral. I don't really know. It's these sort of questions that stress me out. Marie asked, who is your favorite Friends character? Such a hard question, but the first person I thought of was Ross Geller. He just really makes me laugh. Tara asks, did you have a 20 something crisis? What do you do when you feel totally lost about life? Have you ever felt this way? Definitely, I think people who say they've never had that kind of life crisis feeling, especially in their 20s, I mean, I don't know who those people are, but they're very lucky, because I think no matter what situation you're in, you always have that feeling. And for me, it was those couple of years after uni when I really felt the pressure to find my career path and figure out what job I wanted to do in the future. And I felt really lost and I wasn't sure what industry I wanted to work in, but the way I dealt with that was to just put my fingers in all the pies. Is that a saying? I, don't, I can't remember what the saying is, but I wanted to try everything because I thought as soon as I get stuck in a job, as soon as I start renting, I'm gonna have all these responsibilities and I won't be able to try new things. So while I'm living with my parents, I'm gonna try as many different types of jobs as I can and find the thing that works for you. You know, I, I got what I thought was my dream internship for three months and after a week I decided I didn't like it. So I quit and I tried something else because there's no time to waste. I feel like those years are so crucial. So try as many things as you can, build up your CV, and that's how I kind of got through my early 20s. Also, don't compare yourself to other people. That is just a terrible thing to do. Everyone is so different. So don't look at people and think, oh, they're doing so well, because everyone has their own time to do stuff. Alice asked, what did you do for GCSEs and what grades did you get? For those of you who aren't from the UK, GCSEs are, they're like exams at school, they're spread over two years, and how old are you? Like maybe 15, 16 when you take them? So there's certain subjects you have to do, like English, language and literature, science, maths. I can't even remember, I've like blocked it out of my memory. I was forced to do single science by my teachers, which means that instead of getting two grades, I just got one, but it meant that I was more likely to pass, so I got a C in science. The extra subjects that I did were French, art, music, and then I started Italian, which I loved, but I really clashed with my teacher and ended up quitting the subject because we just really didn't get on. So in total, I had seven GCSEs, which is quite low. Most people do eight, nine, some people do 10. I got five Bs and two Cs. The annoying thing about GCSEs in the UK is they take your mock grades, which is the grades that your teachers predict you're gonna get. And those are the grades 
that allow you to change school if you want to change school for A-levels. So I didn't get into any of the schools I wanted to go to because my teachers predicted such low grades. I just think that whole system is so messed up. Jen asks, what was it about Rich that made you want to initially go out with him? I think when I met Rich, I hadn't really ever met someone like him before, just from my like friendship group at home. He seemed really mature and grown up and not at all insecure. That is something I love about Rich. There isn't an ounce of him that's insecure. He's not cocky or overly confident, but he's just really secure with himself. And I found that really attractive. And he's just so kind. He's like the kindest person. So selfless, he'll do anything for other people. You guys know what Rich is like. Oh, love him. Ashley asks, are you still doing Project Life? A lot of people ask me this. Project Life, for those of you who don't know, is like a scrapbooking project. I did a video about it maybe a year or so ago. When I did that video, I had been doing it for two years. And after that video, I didn't carry it on. And I don't think I really was ever going to. I really enjoyed doing it for those two years, but I'd kind of had enough by then. It, it, you know, it became a bit of a chore and I just found other things that I wanted to do instead. And I think that's the best thing about hobbies, finding lots of different things you want to do and kind of moving on to different hobbies as well. If you're into scrapbooking, I think Project Life is amazing. At the moment, my obsession is with a bullet journal. If you haven't seen my blog post on my bullet journal, I will link it down below. It's like a system for your notebook. It makes you feel very organized about life and I'm loving it. The last question is from Holly. She asks, what are your key tips for lasting friendships? Well, I guess, I have really long, strong friendships with friends. I've known my friends Jake and Hannah my entire life. I've known my friend Deb since I was three. And I've known my friends Keisha, SJ and Jenny since I was four. And we've all gone to different schools and different universities and stayed really close. And I think some of my tips for a lasting friendship would be to not be overly sensitive about things. I hardly ever argue with my friends because even if they say something that I think is a bit like, ooh, I don't cause a big argument about it. If, if it really upsets me, I'll just talk to them and then we move on. You know, don't hold grudges. I'm really not into holding grudges. And I think just making an effort, I mean, I'm not great at phoning my friends, but we'll always text and chat. And I don't really know what else, why I've stayed friends with my friends for so long. I think you just have to pick the right friends, really, that even if you don't see each other for three months, it feels like you saw each other yesterday. So those are all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video. Let me know what you think of this setup. I'm finding it a bit weird to be so far away, so I might not do this again. But saying that, I'm very comfy on my little armchair over here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button, and I will see you on Tuesday for my next video. Bye.